Hey guys, welcome back. New guitar day, and uh, I typically don't do unboxings on boxings, but uh, I'm doing this one because this is from Pro Audio Star, and it's a used guitar as advertised on Pro Audio Star. And for those of you that have been following me, I've done a bunch of uh, deals, heads up on very, very aggressively priced Fender guitars on. Um, Pro Audio Star. And I'm hoping that this one is in great shape. We will find out. It's advertised as being used, but the price was just way too good to pass up. We'll get into that after I open it up. So let's uh, do the first look. Shipped in what looks like an original Fender shipping. Uh, there's a box inside the box, so let's see what this thing looks like. Pull it out. Okay. So here, Fender outer box. <clears throat> and this is what is inside the guitar box the outer box, so you can see it's packaged very nicely. Has bubble wrap, headstock has foam on it. You guys can see all this, so very impressed with the packaging so far. Hopefully, the guitar itself is in good shape. We will find out. So, I'm going to take this, Let me use the knife again, cut the inner tape. Okay, put this sharp knife back so I don't slice my hand open. Okay, it's got foam on the guitar. Headstock has the foam on it, like I said. Pull the uh, foam covering off. Hmm. More rubber bands. And it looks like your silicone to keep the, uh, the guitar fresh in terms of humidity. Uh, well, so far it's wrapped and packaged very nicely by Pro Audio Star. So, again, make sure the guitar is in good shape before I give them too many kudos for how this thing is packaged. Okay. And then you will see very shortly what it is. So here, it is a classic vibe, as you can see, Squire, in black, with a maple fretboard. I'm looking at it just very quickly. It appears to be in pretty good shape. Um, I'm going to make sure there's no stress cracks or anything on the neck. The neck looks good. The pocket looks good. Um, man, this thing looks looks in pretty good shape. Like I said, uh, I would say it's like new. really is like new condition at this point. Now, this just came off, which is their warning tag. Um, here's the deal. A little lower here so you can see. So this guy is normally $419.99. Classic vibes have gone up. This is the classic vibe uh, 50s model. They all have 50s um, with the smaller classic headstock, pre CBS headstock. They have 60s with a similar headstock, and then they have the 70s model with the large Fender headstock. This is more of the traditional older style guitar. Um, Normally for nineteen ninety nine, like I said, that's the MSRP. That's typically what you see these things for. Um, every now and then you see them used. You can get them used for probably uh, in the low threes, high twos, low threes. Um, more likely mid threes is what I see as a typical used price if the guitar is in reasonable condition. This was two hundred and twenty nine ninety nine on 
uh, Pro Audio Star, $229.99. The lowest price I've ever seen on one of these. And the reason I bought, because I bought from them before, and when they advertise things as open boxes and used, they're usually in like new condition. Um, I've seen some reviews on YouTube where that was not the case, but this is the case with this one. I was lucky, whatever you want to call it, but you can't find the, can't touch a classic vibe for anywhere near this price in this condition. Crazy stuff. Um, I'm not going to plug it in. This is a first impression video, but... All right, it's not tuned, but um, the guitar does not have any sharp fret ends, and it looks to be in pristine condition. I'm going to plug it in later on to make sure that the electronics work, obviously, but Pro Audio Star is great to deal with. I've never had any issues if there is a problem. Um, this guitar has three single coils, Alnico pickups, 9.5-inch radius neck, um, does have a gloss on the neck and the fretboard. Um, it's a maple neck and maple fretboard, solid maple, one-piece maple, which is impressive. does have that skunk stripe on the back. Um, nine and a half inch radius, 21 frets, six point traditional strat style saddle on this guitar. Because it's a 50 style guitar, true to the vintage, it does have only a single ply um, pick guard on it. Uh, white, what else? It does have the vintage tuners on it, the Goto style vintage tuners. As you can see, um, nice looking tuners on the guitar. This uh, The headstock simply says Squire Stratocaster on it. You can see it, it as the uh, the one string tree on it, circular string tree, which is nice. The adjustment for the um, truss rod is right here on the on the neck. This is uh, a 1921, boy oh boy, 1921, see where my brain is today? 2021 build on this guitar. It was made in Indonesia. And that's it. I mean, very impressed with the condition that this guitar came in as used from Pro Audio Star. For the price I paid, no brainer. 229 bucks for a guitar of this quality is just crazy good. So, thumbs up to Pro Audio Star for the for the item. Um, hopefully you found this, uh, this review helpful. I will come back at another point, plug it in to make sure it works to show you, but there are a ton of reviews on Classic Vibes all over YouTube. You don't need to see me butchering this thing. Um, what else? Uh, if you find these heads up on guitars and um, the videos telling you my impression of what I actually got useful, Please subscribe. Any questions on this one or Pro Audio Star, my experience, put them below. Um, and as always, guys, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.